Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and a little update on the uh, problems with the frame rate loss stuttering that you could see while gaming uh, if you've moved on to Windows 11 22H2. So first of all, for all of those that say, oh, well, you know, Microsoft screwed up, has nothing to do with Microsoft or Windows, has to do with NVIDIA screwing up. I always say it most of the time, it's something else than Windows. So... Um, NVIDIA acknowledge there's a problem, and the problem comes from the GeForce Experience app that most NVIDIA users have installed on their PCs. So there will be an update to fix this. It will be done by the GeForce Experience uh, app itself eventually. Uh, but if you have moved on to Windows 11 22H2 and you're getting you're going crazy because your games aren't performing like they did before there is a beta version of the geforce experience that does fix this and of course it will eventually be pushed uh, as a, the standard app for everyone but if you want you can actually use the beta version the link to download it is in the description below if you click that link you will be downloading a uh, version 3.26 once again, like I said, it's a beta version, so it's a t version being tested right now before it's moved on officially. But it seems that it fixes the uh, frame rates and the gaming issues on Windows 11 22H2. For those that have not moved yet to 22H2 and you're a gamer and you see it available, I would suggest that you actually wait for the official version of the GeForce Experience app to be updated to 3.26. And when that is done, then maybe move on to Windows 11 22H2 if that's what you want to do. Uh, but until it's not updated to 3.26, anybody that is a gamer that has NVIDIA graphics should um, wait. And uh, like I said, if you did move on and you have really bad gaming experience, uh, suddenly, well, the link to the beta version is in the download. Just download it, install it and you'll see that your game's gonna come back to uh, the standard frame rate. So it really has, um, all of it has to do with the GeForce Experience app. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.